Well, good day everyone. It's Grizz. I'm out on the little ninja. <laughs> Not really that little. She's a little powerful beast, this thing. And a lot of fun to ride. Well, today's vlog is something a bit a bit different. Um, flipping out, look at this traffic. I've had some news, uh, as you some of you kind of heard in my, one of my last vlogs. Um, Grizz hasn't been well. The truth is, I've not actually been well for quite some time. <laughs> quite years. And, um, yeah, I went to the doctors. I got loads of, uh, had loads of tests. And at last, I actually got back some results. Something that actually, uh, tells me what the bloody hell's wrong. Um, basically, I've got celiac disease. Um, and what that means is that my body cannot break down certain proteins, kind of primarily gluten. Doesn't sound really like a big deal, but it does mean that, you know, like things like barley and gluten and wheat and all those things and flour and God knows what else. Um, and it's in a hell of a lot of products that we eat daily, or that I eat daily. Um, and it's been giving me jit for years and I didn't know what it was. Uh, what the problem was, I've had, my symptoms were like utter tiredness, achy bones, uh, it's not even an exaggeration, like I just thought I was really starting to get an onset of um, arthritis really, because of my age I guess. Um, I thought it was even more so, and I just thought, oh, it's okay, it's just it's just me getting old. Energy has been absolutely horrendous. My mood at times has been on and off, to say the least, which isn't any fun for anyone involved. Um, and, yeah, just feeling like utter crap. And, I mean, I've had years of feeling like utter crap. I've had years of... Um, supposedly suffering with ME. I guess it was because there was a lot more actually to that when I was sick. Um, but I had a feeling of not kind of well-being for quite a few years now and um, I guess I've put it off and put it to one side and wrote it off and just got on with things because I got tired of um, going to the doctors and getting fobbed off. Um, you know, doctors do a great job. I know they have a lot on their plates. I know they're very busy. But, um, yeah, I've not really had a great deal of success at the doctors over the years. But anyway, went to the doctors last week and uh, told all the problems I was having. I've, I've been having, like, chest pains. Uh, I've been having, well, I've, I've kind of got rashes as well, which won't go away starting to wonder if it was like cancer of sorts yeah so I was really actually getting quite upset or not upset but worried about it and I thought enough's enough I've got to go to the doctors this just is not funny and I'm not managing very well with it I wasn't sleeping uh, and I turned into a complete grumpy bastard so yeah off to the docs I went Taffy came in with me because I, I go to the doctors and I keep forgetting to tell him everything that's playing up, and I guess some of the time I don't tell him everything because I just feel like I'm being a burden, do you know what I mean? Um, you go in there and it's just like, what, what's wrong and can they fix it quickly and if not, like, see you later. But anyway, Taffy and I went in and uh, we went through the whole list of uh, what's been troubling me and the doctor just looked at me a bit dumbfounded and said, well, we've only got 10 minutes, what do you want me to deal with today? So, um, yeah, I just, uh, whatever, it went from there basically, and she put me in for a load of tests, went in the next day, I had an ECG, blood pressure, about six or seven vial, vials of uh, blood were taken, and um, yeah, that evening, the doctor called me back with some of the results, hold on a minute.
nice to, to be honest. Um, <laughs> sorry. I can, you can resist on this bike just to go crazy on it. But anyway, um, the doctor phoned me back that same evening and said, Mr. Grizz, um, everything's fine. You're fine. You're, you're fit and healthy. Nothing wrong with your heart. Blood pressure's perfect. Um, kidneys are perfect. Liver's perfect. Inflammatory markers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you have got very low vitamin D. So I'm going to put you on some vitamin D. Um, which then kind of sent off alarm bells for me. I've also been taking a drug called Omeprazole for my digestion. I've been taking it for years. And my digestion has been rubbish for like, well, since I was a kid, basically. And then we never really looked into it. Um, and all these other kind of illnesses came along. Um, come and gone. But anyway, I started then thinking to myself, why is my vitamin D so low? And I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's because of that damn omoprazole, like, you know? Let's get it in a gear, even. I'm not sure what gear I'm in now. Rubbish, Grizz. Totally rubbish, mate. Third gear. Oh, come on. Now I'm past the marker. I'm going to have to let these people go and get sarky looks. No, he actually thanked me. Mm, another, oh, another thank you. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I started kind of doing some investigation into this omoprazole. It was stupid of me. I should have looked into it before to see what the side effects of omoprazole are. But one of the side effects is that it stops your body from absorbing um, certain nutrients, mostly kind of vitamins and minerals. Um, and so that's not good. So I thought, all right, I'm going to get some vitamins and minerals. Sorry, this is a bit long-winded, guys, this, this vlog. So forgive me. If you're interested in my health, then carry on and watch. If not, then I understand you uh, not want to watch it. And uh, I'll get a more fun vlog up soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've done a load of research. And it turns out that it affects actually quite a lot with different vitamins and minerals. So I've bought myself a bunch of vitamins and minerals. <laughs> And I'm taking those daily. Um, and then I had another phone call, not last night, the night before, from the doctor again, saying we've got more test results back, still waiting on some others. Um, it looks like you have celiac disease, or you have got celiac disease, basically, and she's referring me to a specialist. But the other downside to that is that not only have I been taking this omoprazole drug for my digestion which stops you from producing acid or too much bile or acid or whatever um, and reduces your ability to absorb nutrients but also the celiac disease has the same effect on your body as well so basically I think I'm probably although I'm overweight I'm probably kind of malnourished hence <laughs> just sounds absolutely bizarre to say hence I've had all these aches and pains and lack of energy etc but Grizz is on it um, the doctor prescribed me vitamin D but I've taken a host of other vitamins and minerals fortunately it was my job since the age of 16 through till nearly I was about 30 um, of working and giving nutritional advice to people so yeah I feel a bit stupid to be honest but I'm on it and I'm going to get it sorted and I'm going to get myself sorted now I know what the problem is um, I've had to eliminate like lots of things I would normally eat um, and basically kind of doing my absolute utmost to try and cut out all gluten and barley and wheat and flour and all that kind of stuff and it's surprising actually how much of the normal kind of everyday foods that we eat contain those you know I mean I guess from a standpoint of if you were just eating wholesome foods every day like meats and vegetables and fruits you're fine you know uh, as long as it's not processed meat or possibly even like processed cheese they can contain some uh, 
some gluten as well and you have to be careful about where these foods have been uh, produced if it was a gluten free factory or not and it sounds a little bit over the top I know but the reason for the importance of cutting out the gluten is that it also lowers your body's efficiency or ability to fight off cancer cancerous cells um, and makes you more susceptible to things like that so I'm feeling a little bit a little bit upset about it because I think I've done a bit of damage to myself over the years through maybe drinking too much and eating the wrong foods um, Grizz loves his food and drink too much um, and I've also been taking this drug to kind of mask it mask the effects on my body that been killing me a lot of the times um, yeah so things have come to a head but the main thing is is actually really good news that I've got uh, a diagnosis and I know what to do now I just hope I haven't done any damage to myself um, in the meantime like you know uh, but there we go <coughs> it sounds a little bit worrying doesn't it, it sounds a bit depressing but to be honest with you, I've just been depressed and fed up and tired and sick and sick of feeling achy and tired and been in so much pain. Um, it's not even funny. Don't get me wrong, you know, I know there are a lot of people out there who suffer on a daily basis a lot more than I do. But I guess I've had a lot of illness now for a lot of years, covering a lot of different things. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy now to. some answers and kind of get on top of it I'm just hoping I can do my absolute utmost to cut all of this all of this kind of gluten out of my diet and I hope I can uh, get myself healthy again you know so it's good news it's all good it's all bloody good in the hood and this bike is such a buzz it's such good fun sounds amazing love it i need to work well i'm not going to actually this is tapest bike for me really the suspension needs to be uh hardened up a bit but yeah it's a bit soft for me to be honest but it's good fun so anyway taffy uh, taffy a uh, grizz basically has celiac disease and is a bit of a bummer um so yeah okay mate right i'm actually coming out to weston I haven't got much to spare time actually. Yeah, coming out to get um, Ronnie a bit of dog food. Because we're having a lot of problems with Ronnie as well and his allergies, so it seems to go on and on. Grace is having problems. Ronnie's having problems. But I am doing my utmost to uh, to get Ronnie healthy. He is okay, he's just again just got another allergy problem again and I'm gonna try some food because I've been cooking all of this food now for a while. And I'm just not not happy with how he's going. Let's get some some dog food for the ronster. 